Welcome back to the second part of of uh, Turnabout Sisters. Uh, uh, yet last time we finished the first uh, um, the first Turnabout, because it was actually pretty. It was a lot easier than I thought, or I guess more simple than I thought. Um, um, as far as an update <coughs> goes, I haven't had time. Once again, to really fiddle around with it, but the good news is, is I did get something working. So at this point, I'm just trying to see, determine what I need to do in terms of, I guess, what I need to do for the saves or whatever. Um. Anyways, fuck Geraldo Rivera. But yes, so. There is a big possibility that this thing can be fixed, but again, it's just a matter of finding the time to do it. I've finally been inspired to start writing uh, a little bit, but every little bit counts. Um, I also had to get new glasses yesterday just because um, the ones that I'm wearing right now are, um, are falling apart and I need to get new ones. So, I have to wait on their phone call until the new glasses are ready. No selfie, because I, I don't like my pictures. Um, I'm trying to think. There's just like a lot going on right now. And then like with the holidays coming up, I uh, just gotta see what's going on with that. Uh, on the off chance that I don't have to do anything for the holidays, then I guess, you know... We should be good. Um, trying to think. I can't think of anything else. I mean, it's a slow process, but things are starting to come up. I guess so. I guess I'll just be. Keep, like I guess I'll just keep playing with playing. Um, what the hell is this? No, uh, I could just keep playing until. It gets fixed. I mean, that, that's really all I can do, right? Anyways, hopefully you guys been doing okay. Enough about me, you know. Uh, kitty. I was just looking at a video of a cat. But I don't know. Lately, it's been hard to sleep. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Joe. Hi, Julian. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Just kind of hanging out here before we start. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> There's an ad. Um, I don't particularly care if you... Uh, if you watch it or if you find a way to block it. To be honest with you. <laughs> Hi. Yes, I'm going to be playing Ace Attorney in a little bit. Just got to get chilled up. Get your snacks. Get your food. Get your drinks, get your blinky, get your get into blinky mode. So yeah, hopefully you guys have been doing okay. It's very dreary right now, so I can imagine moods are aren't that well. I hope you enjoy the mechanical sounds of, or, or the sounds of my mechanical keyboard. I had lunch, so I do feel a little better. And I do have water here and all my healthy stuff. So I can stay hydrated myself. I had to get new glasses, so. Hopefully I'll get new glasses soon, next week, sometime. I guess what I can do for now, I can just, I keep forgetting this one.
just so we can have some music going on. Is the music okay? Is it too loud? Is it too soft? I could always fix it. <laughs> <coughs> but just let me know if it's okay. Yeah, might as well take a... Hi Mega Billion, how are you today? At least I got the the thing going, so it's not just silence. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if the if it's too loud or whatever. joke about that. Don't manifest that shit here. Don't, 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 don't manifest that nonsense in this stream. I'm trying to have a good time. <sighs> How are you doing today, Mega Billion? Anything new going on with you? I will, once it's 1.30. I want to make sure people come in here.
Uh, I guess fuck it. I don't think anybody else is gonna come in. Um, I'm. S it's working, but now I just gotta figure out um about my saves issues because, like I said, the worst comes the worst situation is that I would just have to do the whole thing all over again from the fate route in order to get the second route unlocked. I know exactly where I'm at, but it's just a pain in the ass. And then I also have to wait for uh, the place to call for my... I'm just waiting for the people to call for my glasses because I had to get new glasses. So hopefully I can get all that done. And then I also need to think about what what you know what I'm going to do for like the holidays because I may have something coming up a family thing that I have to deal with not really I guess not deal with it's not a not a good way to say it. it's just more like just something to consider especially with the rising cases and everything no face reveal I need like 500 I told you I need 500 subs for that <laughs> If people, if I get 500 subs, like not, 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 not gift subs, but like actual subs, then like, yes, then I'll, then I'll do a face review, but no face review. No face review. So anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and start. I'm not, I'm feeling kind of sad right now, so... What better way to cheer myself up than to play Ace Attorney, right? Well, you know, the weather sucks here. It's just a lot right now. I'm just... I am just... It's just one of those things for me. I'm sure it'll get better once I start playing, so... Alright, let's continue. Oops. Yes, we want to load that. Well, hello! I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. Wow, somebody's in a bad mood too, huh? No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. Ugh. So, what is it you wish to ask me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Well, she is a Karen, so... About the man that stayed with you, who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aw, when you say it like, it like that, it sounds so cold. So criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. This room is, impo is impossible to talk to. Hi, Tremothy. How are you? I'm just playing Ace Attorney, the second part of Turnabout Sisters. Oh. Am I gonna do a little fun voice acting? That's good to hear. Your attitude. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it! Bottom-feeding scum-sucking lawyer! 
the bottom? I can tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers? Or just against me? No, it's okay. I understand. I know things I know things for you is just a little tricky. It's a little tricky with school and everything. And all that. Oops, sorry. I need to there it is. Well, it doesn't seem that she wants to talk to us, so... I guess the only thing we can do is maybe just talk to Mr. Marvin. She's supposed to be cute. That's what she is. You know how some of these Karens are. April May is a Karen. Huh. Looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Hey. Why? Karen May. Yeah, April Karen. Yeah, basically. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah. Yeah, it was a painting of... Wasn't it? Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. Who's that? What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A. DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Oh yes. The Exhibit... The DL6 Incident in which we'll... We'll get to that when we get to that. <laughs> Let's take a look at these. Uh, why would Grossberg have a picture of this man? <laughs> this might be a very valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Ah, uh, yes. D06. <laughs> have you ever played Ace Attorney before, uh, Trim? I'm just borrowing it. I'll return it later. Well, let's look at the first one. A photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it. Nah, let's leave it on for now. Oh, it's been a while. Okay. No, on second thought, I better not. Yeah, let's just leave that. I'm, I'm still kind of like amazed that he had this like expensive ass office here. Oh, you played the first three as well as Apollo Justice. Okay, cool. I, for, for me, I played the original three, of course. Apollo Justice. Um, I did play the first Edgeward game. Uh, I'm still playing the second one. It's just hard. Just because some of the characters are just eh. Uh, I'm still working on the five. I'm still trying to get used to the whole 3D. Athena's fine. I, I don't have any gripes. I'm just... It's just... I guess maybe... I don't know. Maybe I'm just biased. Nothing against the new games, obviously, but... Anyway, since we are done for now, and there's nobody here, we'll just move. Maybe at the Gatewater Hotel? Don't know why the mouse is acting up. Ah, welcome, sir. I'm, I'm gonna give him a British accent because I don't know. <laughs> Quite the performance today, if I does say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. Yeah, I just couldn't get over the art style. I'm sure the great games, but the newer ones just don't interest me. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm gonna give it a chance at least. You know, at, at least try to finish it and then just see for myself to see how, uh, uh and, and get my opinion from my onion from there. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will be swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We could charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa. This may hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. 
Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? <laughs> this is just the story of Feeny's life. Sue, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Yeah, I don't know why it's kind of lagging like that. Alright, let's talk, Mr. Bellboy. About Miss May. Oh, her? Huh? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if, you par if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. Oh no, he's Austin Powers. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm sure I could I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo? Hmm. Well, got one more topic. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely! On that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as The Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. But I guess he likes those, uh, escape rooms. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea, sir. Uh, well, you know what? Maybe... Because we do have a picture of a strange man. So let's present it. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Alright, buddy, you weird fuck. Well, sure, why not? Yes! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Alright, we got the affidavit. Basically, who talks about him. Alright, not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Alright, well... He's, he's definitely one of those true crime fans that want to be in a true crime. Uh, let's go here. You again? Can you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason why I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Which is true. Karen is a Karen after all. I guess Karens will Karens. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't have just spiky hair. You also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. <laughs> oh, Feeny. About that man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to want to be protecting him. Hmm. Would you have sold out the late Miss Faye to the cops? No. See? Damn. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Alright, well I thought maybe talking to her might change her mind. But as we all know, Karens are gonna care. Okay, so this is how they're gonna solve that problem. Just make it like that. Okay. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. Such as the man you checked in with. Who was the mo who was most definitely this guy? <laughs> now I'm getting somewhere. Let's push you hard. This is it. All or nothing. 
Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb if, it's e if indeed that is an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend it was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Ugh. Ooh. Fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Oh my god, Petey is getting high off of this rush. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <clears throat> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man? He's my boss. Red, white, the president of the... Of, uh, Red, white, the president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. Red, white, information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So, is this the man that was with you on the night... With you the night of the murder? I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. Ugh. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? So, uh, Mr. Red White, at last. So, it looks like that we finally got... We, we finally got... Um, the reasoning why that she's defending this guy. She's scared. I love the names in this game. It's like they locked the intern in the room. Yeah. No, like, honestly, and this is going to be a really, really hot take. Like, I know a lot of people don't, are not going to agree with me when I say this. But to be honest with you, I actually really do like the American localization a little bit more than the um, using the original, like, Japanese names. Um, I actually read an article once, and if I find it, I could Google it after the stream and, and link it in the YouTube description, but essentially what happened was, uh, the way they viewed, um, Ace Attorney was that they were, um, instead of using, like, like Phoenix, obviously, that's obviously, a uh, uh, generally not going to be a, an Asian name, at, or at least not an Asian name. I mean, maybe it is, I just don't know. My point. The idea that they had was the, uh, uh, LA kind of having Japan, a lot of Japanese influence was that they literally asked themselves, what would happen if the intern camps in the 40s did not happen? If the, if the vial, if, you know, you know, everything that happened, happened. But let's just say that the government did not actually put the Japanese in intern camps. Because that's what they were. They were internment camps. And this is essentially what it would be like. Yeah, right? And that's why they changed it to where, like, the Korean or like... Yes, they do have Japanese... They have very, very Japanese... Uh, they have Japanese folklore. Um, but... The way I feel about that, and the way I kind of like, I guess, I don't want to say excuse, how I, I guess, interpret that. I think that's the best way. That the way I interpret that is that spirituality is wherever you make of it. And I think for the Korean family, they must have immigrated from Japan to California and found that the area that they moved to um, had a lot of spiritual hugs spiritual powers that aligned with theirs and that's why the Korean village is where it's at and yes again like I understand that like a lot there's a lot of things you don't really explain but I do like that explanation that they're saying that yes you know they never in this theoretical world they never went to the internment camps that's why you see a lot of people with Japanese names a lot of Japanese mannerisms so it's not too just not not just so it's not like oh it's all completely American like with Thai Matt uh, like how they did in the American anime dub yeah right I like that too because it also allows I feel like it allows more not to say Japanese people aren't are not diverse that is not to say that what I'm trying to say that especially in a country like America especially California. Um, there are a lot of different people there, a lot 
more diversity and i feel like that allows m even more diverse diverse cast people especially when you have like the studios uh the studios the you know there's a lot of cultural references but i like i said if i can find that interview again if i can find an article i'll link it and i'll post it in discord but i actually that actually kind of made me realize like oh okay that's why these things are the way they are because you know i actually have a similar setting that you use for a ttrpg once except it was curio islands okay that's interesting Trum. see i never played uh i never played a tabletop rpg game so i don't know but that does sound interesting and it does very much sound like phoenix right and i think for me maybe that's why it kind of rings more true to me as I, I i could definitely see this more as a la type of place maybe rather better than tokyo not just because like it's the first version i play because usually i'm more for like you know like i don't like the localizations i don't like the localizations of digimon i don't like that they took out guns and all this and that yeah exactly it, it's a, it's essentially an alternate history and i mean it's a fantasy world as it is because you only got three days to do a trial so of course you know and then again like with the circus and you got the circus you also got you know you got lotta oh now when we get to lotta i love lotta i love her with all my heart but like i said i feel like because of the alternate history and of the fact they moved it to la instead of just tokyo i feel like it definitely adds more definitely adds more nuance I want to say nuance. Of course, I mean, you guys can disagree with me. I personally don't give a shit. I'm just saying that for once, I actually agree with the localization. I understand where a lot of people come from. Because yes, you should never erase the histories. You should never erase the cultural. But I think this was a very wise decision for Fe at least for Phoenix Wright in the context of Phoenix Wright. I really do think that was the best uh best course of action of how to tackle it and especially and honestly if they if it wasn't approved by shu takumi or the team well maybe mostly capcom if it wasn't approved then they wouldn't have done it they wouldn't have been allowed to do it, do it. so i think that's why for me i definitely enjoy the cultural references i enjoy the puns i enjoy the names i think it fits a lot better in context and nuance but that's just my onion yeah i think for a localization that changes the game pretty drastic they really did a good job and i think that's another thing too is that they also have a lot of heart <laughs> a lot of heart but um but no i think i i think for me i can actually feel the love that they have not just for like the naming of the character but for like why they did the alternate history in the first place which is very which is a very interesting thing when you consider the fact again you know this is a world where if the japanese intern camps did not happen it, it, this is what la essentially would be like and honestly i believe that because you know that hate was never well if it was there it was a lot diminished than what it actually was so yeah, like I said, I, I actually agree with the localization for Phoenix Wright. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stop talking and I'll continue. Finally, the lead on this guy. And I think Mr. Red White is probably like one of the best examples of this. And we'll see. And if you haven't played it, you'll see why. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bellboy's affidavit discarded. Well, I think we should have kept that personally, but that's just me. Alright. Why did that happen? Right, we can't talk, so I guess we're just gonna move to... Yeah, like I said, I think it's very interesting, and I actually genuinely love it. I genuinely love it, but like... I wish people would understand that point of view too, but like I said, I understand the other point. I truly do. Like eat, like the whole eat your hamburgers, Apollo. I get it, 
but I like the way they've done it, and it does tie into it. I feel like it kind of makes it even more tightly woven, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, that meme is funny, you gotta say. Alright, let's talk to this bastard. What's with the surreal decor? Because this is some white people shit. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your persona- personage! What the- Your name! What is your name? Oh god. He exudes creepy white man energy. I was just incredibly asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix, right. Inquirably. Oh god, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Well, then again, Red White. He's Red White. He. <laughs> Mr. Right, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you in my giant esque vocabulary? Yeah, I agree. To be honest, I don't envy the job of the localization teams at all. Yeah, no, that is absolutely true. Like, and I think they, but I think, again, I think the difference with this and versus the Fire Emblem controversy is that this one actually has a lot more heart. That there's a lot more love put into this than maybe a uh, Fire Emblem. I don't know anything about the Fire Emblem other than that, like, whole conversations were removed for X reason. And I'm just, and I don't like that. It, you know, it doesn't matter if it's quote-unquote not important. If it's a whole fucking conversation and if it's a bonding thing, then you kind of need that. But again, with Phoenix Wright, I really do feel like there is a lot of love put into it. And I think it resonates with me a lot more. And that's why I like it. I like, I, I, I just love it. Like, I, I, just, I just love how ridiculous and over-the-top this is. Because the game itself is very ridiculous and over-the-top. So it's like, at that point, you might as well have fun with it. And if, you know, I think it worked in their favor in this instance. You know, obviously, not every localization is perfect. I don't expect it to be perfect. So, like, I think it, it definitely is a case-by-case -case basis. But this, I say Phoenix Wright has one of the, the much better localizations. And I think it should be talked about more often. But, again, I mean, by people who are way more intelligent than I am. So, like, yeah. What is this guy's problem? Me too, Phoenix. Me too. I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. Because Red White, like I said, really exudes that ignorant as white man energy. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> oh god. So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the wordly challenge. Oh, thank you, Trem. I guess what I mean is, like, maybe more insight of what goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> what a fruitcake! Hmm, let me guess. You're an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation why you would come to meet me like this. Yeah, like, I'm just a fan. I'm just speaking strictly as a consumer. That I actually do like the Phoenix Wright uh, localization a lot more. Because I honestly do feel like, yes, you know, again, there's a lot of Japanese mannerisms, but that also comes with living with, with people. Like, if, uh, I, you know, there's a, like, I don't know if anyone has actually been in LA or currently lives in LA, but I do notice that even if you're not, like, that particular race, like, for example, if you are uh korean you may pick up some mexican mannerisms you know but hey the uh, the consumer's opinion is the one that matters at the end of the day i suppose that's right but i would just love to hear more on the behind the scenes too because i find that equally as fast as fascinating as the world itself so what does he mean by that no matter so what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself but yeah, what I'm saying is that, like, a lot of the cultural stuff that you pick up in, like, especially in a metropolis like LA, 
and I love LA so much when I say this, so I mean it when I say it, that I think it's amazing that they did what they did with the localization and how people kind of absorbed the Japanese mannerisms and all that, again, with the ultimate history. It, uh, I'm just nerding out at this point. <laughs> So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes! This guy's arrogance meter is off the scale! Ugh. Why? I hate this guy. Oh god, he's annoying. <laughs> Miss May is an employee of- Miss May is an employee of Blue Court, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. I just have a lot of thoughts and feelings. I, and I know it's a big part of a big part of it has to do with the fact that I'm so attached to the original trilogy. So I just have a lot of feelings. And again, like I understand where people do come from and they say you gotta preserve the fact that these people are Japanese, they're Asians, they're they're not, you know, they're not American. And this is not an American system. But again, you know, at the end of the day, this is still a fa- But at the end of the day, it's still not- It's still a fantasy story about, again, crime and punishment. And, you know, honestly, it's, it's not even just a commentary on American stuff. It's definitely a commentary on Japanese as well. Because I know they got some shit too. But honestly, you can really, like, say it for both countries for sure. We're absolutely sure because cops ain't shit, a cab and all that. But like, yeah. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not part of her. It's not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you. We do not condone illegal methods. God. It is ineffable that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn this man into a scapegoat. Yeah, that's because he is. That's what typical fucking pieces of shit like him do. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to Monday details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. <laughs> no matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases, I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although, I doubt you'd be, able to, you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question actually. I think it's always important to keep in mind that this localization is very much a product of its time. Like, I think this drastic localization is a big reason why people gave this series a shot. No, absolutely. Uh, again, like what you said, Trem, cause especially considering the time period and all this and that, yeah, it was definitely a thing. It's one of the reasons, and I think, um... Like, in cases of, like, Mother 3, like, I don't know much about Mother 3. I did watch, like, a Let's Play once upon a time. Like, I watched it so long ago. But I can definitely see where people are, like, the local... Like, not even just, like, the localization would have issues, but also, like, how would Nintendo sell this? Because, unfortunately, people are very messed up. So, yeah, that... That's definitely one thing to consider. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho ho. The police, the courts. To me, they're mere toys. Play things for my amusement. Oh my god. He's just saying what all these fucking co mega corporate people actually stink. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say, we are the future. Sell information? 
In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Uh, ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder of CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? You, I guess. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes? What might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. Uh, I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Or rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Wrong wasn't right. It appears you did not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Oh, which line was that? Just like that sorry excuse over the for an attorney grody burger. What? Ugh. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. He... He punched me! He really just attacked a lawyer in fucking broad daylight! What the fuck? Oh, the Mr. Wrong like? Yeah. Yeah, this guy is a fucking piece of shit. He just punched the beanie! Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? It's one of the things- Well, see, that's- And that's, again, that's when the name- That's when the name play, the puns, everything. Like I said, there's a lot of heart into this game that a lot of people don't realize, especially with the localization. Right? Poor Feeny. Charge away. I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? He, my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. And that's more true to life than you can expect. So you so you say. But I wonder, is that the, is that kind of control really possible? Yes. I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your comprehend compensation. He came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossberg. Yes. Then you must ask him. Why is that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. <sighs> Go now. Skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Man, fuck this dude. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. I can just imagine he's just standing there staring at Phoenix and Phoenix is just like, um... Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! Jet from Jehoshaphat! Oh, you! What's wrong? You look so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I've not seen Nile yet. I'm sorry my voice can't go that deep. That's the curse of having a childlike voice. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. <coughs> so you came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something that was bothering me all last night, you see. Couldn't get a week of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me and sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would do, would have done, thing, done if things had gone poorly for the girl. 
I asked before, but why did you refuse your request for defense? I, I think I have a right to know. Alright, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem more troubled about- he does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. So, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh? What is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... Mr. Grossberg, sir, there is a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office of Blue Corp, Red Wife's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected you say? Yes, and I know what it is. <laughs> You're lovers? <laughs> no! <laughs> He's blackmailing you. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I think that painting is a fairly is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I could finally rest easy again. After all, you were Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Brad Wright is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. Oh my god, it's Grandpa Pickles from Rugrats. He's been paying them for 15 years. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs, as you suspected. I could not stand the defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red Ride would be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, po police, and politicians. Again. Not different than, not, not any different than the real world. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore, to him. Don't look at me like that. Look what you see is that you weren't in the wait in many years. Um. Let's talk about the DEL6 incident then. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code and the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Fay, Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder of the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of the wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains all solved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Okay, so what's your reason for being blackmailed? But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. Man, you and your big fat mouth. You told White? He offered me riches. 
It's an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. But then, that begs the question, why was Red White looking into this? Hmm, much to talk about. Of course, White heard about it and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. Ugh. I see. Uh -huh. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Alright, well... I guess that's all we can do. Well... Does he want this back? Sorry, sir, I borrowed this. Ah, so it was you, my boy. Who is this man? Um, it's a long story. I'll be needing that back now. He doesn't want to talk about it for some reason. I'd better give him back this photo. Cause I don't think we need it, do we? Oh, he got rid of the picture, okay. So, let's go to Faye, Com Law Company. It's funny, looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Wouldn't he, like, have to close it off, though? Like, he wouldn't have access to it, right? But then again, that's only using real-world logic. Mr. Grossborough said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Hmm... Well, let's look at the shelves. Let's look what we can't see. Oh, plant. Mia's favorite pot is plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. Oh, Phoebe. Mia's dust. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing is missing is... Mia. I gotta look at that. What's this? All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Um, let's see if there's any, there's a A record. There, <laughs> Man, Phoenix, you nerd. Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye. A, B, F, Misty Faye. That's Mia and Maya's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Let's take a look. I have tarnished the Fey name, leaving only these words my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who have made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was a man who sold that information to the press. This parasite. He makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm. The record stops here. So Mia knew Grossberg. Yeah, I'm sure she wasn't too happy about that. T... Q... I know! W! White! Oh, the entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Uh, let's see, J through S. Nothing much here. Maybe I'll just skim to some of these? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and skim it. Wait not? we already looked at the other ones. <sighs> well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part here is at the end of S. Suicide? Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen... Oh, there's writing on most of these. There's writing on most of these in pencil. What? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. What drove them all to? I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. 
Let's find the most disturbing one. Let's. Which is the one that's gonna traumatize the court the most? So that's the. Let's see. I think we can't slide. Well, there's only one thing to do. Let's go back to Blue Corp. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate to have- I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems a message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me! If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Yeah, well, we got some explaining to do. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling Sika government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word, white. <laughs> Mr. White, I know that I... I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. He black like how you blackmailed Grossberg. You're blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You're threatening and coercing with hundreds of others. You're involved in all, uh, all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is it you should be doing right now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office, hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Well, I guess we just got our ass kicked out. Yes, yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What should I be do- What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was onto you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, he had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... <sighs> Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. <laughs> Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort from Mr. Wong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White? White, that you? Why are you calling me at the time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, a, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court? Quietude! I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed. And, but could be violent. What? What man? Were you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. Wright, this isn't another one of those. Chief prosecutor, I do not believe you're in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police, now! <sighs> Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? 
you're a mere lawyer. As a, as was Miss Mia. If they were just mere more lawyers, Mr. White, or Red White, you would not be as threat feeling as threatened as you are right now. I'm just saying. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you'll be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make you even look competent. I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, butts! Harry butts! It's Gumshoe. We may stand a total of one detective. Right, actually, Phoenix right, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. <laughs> Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Oh god, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to... An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. <sighs> right. Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya. Great. They let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Ha. <laughs> now I'm afraid we switch places. What? You mean you? I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. And now you! This has gone too far! Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Help me break out of here! <laughs> no, cheer me on! Well, you can cheer me- cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean, like a cheerleader? Huh? Um, yeah, like that. Alright, leave it to me! Huh? I'd better go get a uniform and some pom-poms. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really, I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give it that... I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then, come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as a star witness. This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. To be continued. Well, obviously, we're going to keep going. We got to defeat this man. Yes, we are saving. Yes. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. 
One way or another, this case gets decided today. Aha! Beat it! Look! It's Edgeworth! Ugh. Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the Chief Prosecutor's Office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. Weiss says today, it would be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What does White have the judge in his pocket too? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty? End of story? I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? This guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. Hey, sons! Yes, we are going to. Tr we you just missed the investigative process, but we're going to trial today. We're going to end this case today. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. Uh, I wish I could say I was. I was okay, but uh, it is what it is. So I may. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. It is what it is, but thankfully Ace Attorney is here to help. Oof, I bet. Are you gonna take a break today? Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. Well, court will be starting soon. Oh no, I just meant... I know you mentioned that you get up early to train, so that's why I'm asking. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not... I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Court is done in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing to this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, Today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like, it's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Oh, okay. Well, as long as it works out. Yeah, that makes sense. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? <laughs> I'm never so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Hi, Ash. Well, the MILFs are gone for right now, but they will be back. Great. He gets to show off and I get nowhere. We do have unnecessary feelings, Edgeworth, here. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, Edgeworth is good though. He's good. Please state your full name. <laughs> your wish to know the title of my personage? David tells us looking kind of different. <laughs> yes, he is, Ash. He is. Er, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear. Did my locution, locutions confuse? Name. These two are great together. 
My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. Alright, alright, let me do the, the, the American white way. I don't know. Because <laughs> they're trying to say gringo. <laughs> they're trying to call a gringo. Blanco Nino. Nino. That's how they're gonna say it. Blanco Nino, not Blanco Nino. <laughs> I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. Mr. Gringo has to the hole. Yeah, they're not. Th he's an idiot. Yeah. We know, we know. He's just, he's not very smart. Ugh. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed a murder from there? <clears throat> why would, why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your testimony. This man is about to call me a sir from the stands. He, 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 yeah. Yeah, he does like to make up words. But yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna call everybody here a slur. If I end, expect us to pay for his goods. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? That's just your life, Vini. That's just your life. Ho ho ho. I hope you have made peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. I know, right? Is it peachy? Is that peachy pendejo? Let's see. It was about nine o'clock, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, er, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. He already punched Phoenix. He already committed assault. Then I heard a bed lamp coming from the outside. Surprise! I turned to look through the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. Oh, he should be, but unfortunately he's a corp- Not only is he like a super mega corp dude, but he also blackmails people. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there is a terrible impactation. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testified, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Er, I mean, Mr. Wright? Your cross-examination. Yes, your honor. All right. So, how does he know all these things? Let's see. Okay, let's press on this. Can you be a little bit, be more, can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende, I understand. Or, Comprende, as they would say, because because he exudes ignorant, he he exudes a ignorant white man energy. The victim was attacked, but you, by you, and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Uh oh, that's an important detail. We just heard because May, if you remember, April May said that she ran to the right, but red white is saying that she's running to the left. So how would he know that? How would he know that? Are you sure? As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Okay, so we, we ran to the left, but... Yeah, exactly. I'm glad that I'm able to do that. So let me present... What's that? Objection. We got the objection. We did it. Wait, right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. Who? What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. 
she clearly stated that the victim ran right. See? Exactly. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. And the victim here. If the victim ran to the left as she claimed she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. Yeah, we're gonna get him. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? <laughs> Very strange. I did see him run to the left. I did. Because you're the killer! Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left because he's the killer! It's opposite! So did he So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, your honor? Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain his contradiction to the court? They're both right. Yeah, they're both right. Yeah, right? They're so good. The quotes are so good. Both witnesses are telling the truth for once. Ha, huh, I doubt it. Er, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Faye and Com Company, of course. We love big brain porcupines. More specifically, he was standing here. He's the killer. Do you have to show the car? Yep, lies always beget more lies, see through one, and their whole story falls apart. This is where he was. Look, when the victim ran for the door, he was watching from this point, from this point. To him, it would appear that she, had, she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. But that's our point, Edgeworth. Order! I will have order! Anyone disturbing the order of this court will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? He's obviously the victim. Every, all, all his life, he's the victim. <laughs> Rapscallion. He's sweating now. The postulations of defense are a distortion of the truth, your honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. You're Mr. Your Honor. Might I be allowed to testify once more? It is so satisfying. Oh, and wait until we get to the end. It'll be even better. Very well. Let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a, pros a broken testimony, buddy. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she ran first to the left. She first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Oh no, I was just commenting for those who, uh, uh, who hasn't played this game. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. He chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss Mia, Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Side to the left, side to the right. <laughs> hmm, that does seem to make sense. Yeah, that is a huge objection because she only got hit once. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You bet I will. I mean, yes, your honor. Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> We're doing the slide, the goddamn slide. 
Alright, yes, so... And then you hit her. You see, you hit her twice. No, we did not hit her twice. Because she only was hit once. From a blow, so let's present that. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. <laughs> what do you what do you have to say to that? Uh, uh, now it's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this core you were absolutely perfect? <laughs> I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witch for a new testimony. <laughs> the tick. Oh, with the testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a ten minute break. Yes. Yes, quite. Objection. You're getting objections here. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah! Yeah, we want justice! Don't let him get away! Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony, the crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this one now, White. Mr. White? Oh, okay. You could have just been asking, are you accepted to be found guilty? Yeah, like, I, I don't think anybody's gonna want to accept that. Oh, well, see, I, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then, the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then he did her in with a single blow. Twat! Hmm, dwap indeed. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Here, Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, where are the sunglasses? Let's press on that. The, the thing did not fall. You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Uh, oh, oh, that, um, the glass light stand. But how does he know you can't see it from the ins from the outside? Right. The one that had fallen over at the sea. Phoenix? Doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yes, it's very odd. Because you would have to know, you would know. He's got x-ray vision. I guess you're right. <laughs> yes, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh? What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. S sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. He bought it with his money. <laughs> okay, okay, of course. A light stand. So then, again... My question is, how is he able to see that? I mean, unless like what you guys are saying. Yeah, that thing is there, so... Present that. Mr. White, it was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. What? Look at this. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White? What do you have to say to that? <laughs> Dick, you lost it. Mr. White, if you were in that Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have to been you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. 
There is no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been in the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law Offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Gaga! Mr. White? Mr. White. Yeah, right? Finally, be they're just casually carrying an a Phoenix Falls on his gun. <laughs> well, he just ca I mean, doesn't everybody just casually carry shards of glass in their pockets? Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? You, Mr. Your Honor. I, I, Miss Mia. Hit. Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection! That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. Oh shit! Here it comes! The quartered music! Wh what?! I, er I forgot about Edgeworth! Mr. White. <laughs> and then Phoenix Wright puts out his gun. <laughs> Everybody pulls out their gun. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess to your crime now? Hmm? Wh what? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap? I guess it makes sense when you think about it because now he's trying to say, well, how did the wiretap get in there? So that's a, that's pretty much a logical <laughs> And then the judge pulls out his good Gatling gun. <laughs> Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. And then Lyra pulls out her rifle. <laughs> Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Moon Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices on Miss Faye. What does it have to do? Your Honor. The question is, when was the wire tape placed in the office, and by who? No, you wouldn't, Mr. White. In order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss, Fa Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? Uh, uh, correct! You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break! Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Faye and Company law offices. And that is when I saw that accursed light stand. There's no way that, it, that he knocked it down before. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what, that, what this, all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has, has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. Wright knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. Wright could have seen the stand. It shouts order as he mercilessly slaughters everyone in the courtroom. It is his quest to, to for order in the courtroom. <laughs> At the very moment of the murder, thus Mr. Wright would like to have, thus Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. Wright, Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White has had been to that office well before the murder took place. When he went to the place when he went to place the wiretap. He could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix's right theory is revealed for the basis conjecture it is. I mean, he's not technically wrong, but because, you know, somebody had to go into the office anyway and put it in. But somebody still murdered Mia, and it's not April May, and it's definitely not Maya, and it's definitely not Phoenix. Maybe. Mr. White. You will testify at the court about you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Ahem, leave it to me. I I feel faint. It is yeah, it is the receipt. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fay and Company law offices. Of course, I had done so done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. 
Hmm. So, you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over. By the sound? Oh, correct. That is right. I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Alright. Well, I got questions. So... Why is this so specific? D do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh, <laughs> right. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Faye and Company law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edward, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Faye and Company law offices. My question is why? Yeah, he's not having any of it. Why did you tap Mia's phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue, C Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. No. No. Like... That is when I saw the glass light stamp. Okay, let's press on that. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stamp? The light stamp was made entirely... was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautitious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it! There's nothing there for me to press him on! Well, maybe he's rattled on enough that I could bluff something out of him. Alright. I feel like... Well, wait. Let's take a look at that receipt. This evidence clearly contradicts her. Hi, Kayla. This evidence clearly reveals a contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. Not exactly. The answers are three. Oh, shit. Damn it. That wasn't it. Shit. My bad. I did press everything. Um, shit, this piss. I'm afraid this is as far as you go. Oh no, thought honorably. Oh no, no more. I can't take this anymore, Mr. Wright. Are you giving up? Uh, damn it, did I- Phoenix! Ugh. Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. M Mia! Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. Oh. M Mia! Where am I? The waiting room- the waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, you're finally awake. Gah! Well, he fainted again. Hey! Phoenix! Gat? That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Your... M Maya? Oh, there's your MILF, Ash. Didn't you know the Fave women have strong psychic powers? When you accept it, you defeat in court. It appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. Yes, yeah, she did evolve. 
So I think that's what I needed to do. I think I just, I just forgot. I just had to keep going. So, Maya is channeling you, Mia? Yeah. That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. Yeah, no, I know. Now I know I'm on the right track. I just, I just forgot for a minute. I'm like, wait a minute. I got, I got too ahead of myself. That's what I came here to tell you. Uh, but, but, all according to Kikaku, exactly. That means plan. We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won, huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Um. Oh, yeah, the one that you wrote Maya on. Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So, what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. A hundred thousand dollars? One thousand dollars? Damn! Whoa, big spender. Item, glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. So that was the day before the murder. No, you, you gotta realize these people are kind of, uh, I mean, to be fair, there is a lot of stress on them, so. Oh, September 4th. That's right, Phoenix. I thought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa. Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder, and that's where he claimed he saw it. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. So now I think that I just needed to wait for the update. My bad. I forgot. I was ahead of myself. Okay. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. It's the defendant, rather, are you alright, Mr. Wright? <laughs> well, I mean, if they think like they used a medium, is, I'm sure they're probably just like, huh. Or they're probably not paying attention. They're just more focused on the drama of, of the court, not so much the, de the little details. Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then, let's start where we left off. Oh hey! Congrats! Thank you, Trevity, for the for the gift subs, for sounds and Aru. Nice. Thank you so much. Then let's start where we left off. Oh, you were only two away from the badge. Nice. You're finally subbed to me, sons. It only took a couple streams. <laughs> Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, please, give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Exactly, Sans. It's, it's, it's less finished. Now I can, I can go to that spot. Because I forgot to let it go. So, yes, he has finally activated my trap card. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? <laughs> You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of the receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. And the date of purchase? Yeah, Edgeworth is kind of a dumbass too. 
Why, that's the day before the murder. You see, Mr. White, exactly, they are made for each other. When you allegedly entered Faye and Company law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Well, well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. It could. It's impossible. Uh oh, he's losing it. He's McLosing it, y'all. Well, Your Honor. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree that you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Actually, let me check something out. Let's see, they testimony. Very well. <laughs> Time to roll for breakdown scene of it. Impossible is probably yeah. It, it's a it's just, it's a fun made up word. I'm glad I'm glad I was able to 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 say it right. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of. Oh no. Not so fast, Phoenix. Right. Uh huh. What? No way he can warm his way out of this one! Oh wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. <laughs> Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm, another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Object. I just want this bitch jailed. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? If anyone's going to call Mr. Wright to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I, w I need a date to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. What? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow? No! There's no telling what will happen if I can end this now! Edgeworth is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me at all? <laughs> you Mr. Your Honor! May I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. Gah! The witness will stay. M Mia! Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Break out of your honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. I <laughs> read my attorney's draft. <laughs> no, we're reading the memo. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities, that's when it happened. So stop! Desist! Halt! Please! Stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else the list will be released to the press. I confess. I confess. I... I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with... The thinker. It's a call out post. Case closed, your honor. 
<laughs> there goes this perfect record! Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Yeah, well, you know, she just turned it again. She just turned the table around. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? You've done it again! That was quite a spirited defense! <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that, if only you knew how spirited it was. Hmm, well, this court finds the defense. <clears throat> Rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright, not guilty! Yay! It took a little minute. But yay, we got confetti in the courtroom! Yay! That is all. This court is adjourned. Well, I never thought I'd be seeing this again. But congratulations, you're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I have both you and Maya on my side. <laughs> right, rest, rest the pepperoni, the court janitor. <laughs> I'm glad you made it. <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix. The definition of blackmail is the action treated as a criminal offense of demanding payment over another benefits. Well, yeah, at that point, he murdered her. Well, I mean, the thing about it is, it was Mia who was specifically asking for it, not Phoenix himself. All he did was just read it out loud. All he did was just read list a name, a list of names. So, you know, and he, and honestly, all all Mia wanted was for him to confess to, to his crime, which is murder. And other blackmail. So, I think in this case. The murder kind of trumps being blackmailed at, <laughs> in, the, in the court of law. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me. And Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? <sighs> My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still, are still weak. I can't stay here that long. W what? No! There's still so much to say! Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Well, I, I don't know, Sans. I guess we'll have to play justice for all for that one. Ch chief! <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Chief! Mia! That's what there's. That maybe depends what you guys think. Well, somebody has to pay for the crime, so being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came, Mia. I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then. I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? M Mia? <laughs> you should see your face. Mia. What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. M Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm. I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Oh, because of this! See? Mia wrote me a letter! Take care of Phoenix for me! Take care of... Huh? Yeah, exactly. That's definitely something to think about before we play Justice for All. She means the office. This office. Okay, no problem. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Company Law offices, right? And who better but me, Maya Faye, reporting for duty. Wait, no, on second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick, Maya here, ready to get down to business. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what this means? We're partners. Baby. 
you know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I am here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in company law offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Oh, this is such a good scene. I'm crying. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here. Watch. So, looks like we still have a little bit of time. So, I'll just go ahead and just play a little bit of Turnabout Samurai. Imagine if- No, I'm not gonna imagine if Phoenix died. We are not doing that. Right. Okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy! Burgers! There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on! Time's a-wasting! Okay, wait up! Whew. This case always makes me sad just because... Mia... It's always so sad to see Mia die. So yeah, we'll go ahead and play a little bit of uh, Turnabout Samurai and then we'll call it a stream. Grah! You have disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai! The pale moon city and sky cries for your blood! Oh shit, it's anime! The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon, for it will be the last moon you ever see. See you in hell, evil magistrate! Whoa! Grah! The warrior sword gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger returns. We stand. Oh, it does. It slaps, but after a while it just kind of gets to you. That rocked. See you in hell, evil magistrate. Whoa, stop waving that room around. Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. What was that serial show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old? Then what the heck are you getting all excited? Do we getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17. See, I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Then watch him with me. He's really cool. And it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Gramps. Well, the Steel Samurai is over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the right and company law offices. How am I going to pay rent this month? Yeah, that's always the conundrum. It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. Who died in the building? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she- Oh, that, yeah, Mia died. Yeah. But then again, it's LA. To, uh, quote, unquote, LA. So, like... <laughs> Phoenix's bedroom? Hello? This is Phoenix. N Nick! Maya? What? It's still early. I, it's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying that the Samurai- the Steel Samurai killed a villain! <laughs> um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Actually, you know who would want to go in there, Ash? 
uh, people who want to do ghost tours, maybe they can open up a ghost tour. <laughs> yeah, on TV. No, I mean, he actually did it in real life. He cured a villain with a samurai spear. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office, quick! Please, Nick! Maya's here, watching television. Now for the morning- now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. <sighs> this has this has to be a joke. No, no, no! It's a nightmare! The Steel Samurai is over! The world is over! Yes? Right in cup right in company right in company law offices? What? Nick! Uh, it's the Steel Samurai! What? Yes. Yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick. Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention. So what? So, I decided this would be our first case. Well... <laughs> well, what should we do? What should, what should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai. Does she want to investigate this case or just do some, some, do some sightseeing, I wonder? My money's on sightseeing. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. No, we just don't have enough information. All right, all right, Maya, let's go ahead. Go to the detention center. <laughs> What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client, that's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this? But he definitely didn't murder at least once, maybe twice. Whoa, 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 what are you saying? Um, I yes? Something wrong? Uh, no, no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed? Oh no, oh no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got to the part of the steel samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know? I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh, I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. Hugh Jackman. <laughs> I can't believe Hugh Jackman did this. <laughs> I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Nick? What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He's a baby. Yeah, Will Powers is a baby. He's baby! I know Ash is probably gonna stand. He didn't do it! Okay... Let's- let's talk to him then. What happened? And maybe he could start by telling us what happened. Y yes oh, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday ac actually it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 o'clock that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 in the afternoon. But when 5 came around, the staff gathered at the studio. A little dumb, big titties, the perfect man, and he also respects women. The evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. Do 
They took off his mask. Is that Wolverine? Yes, it's Hugh Jackman. <laughs> actually, I think he actually is based on Wolverine, if I remember the notes, uh, cultural notes correctly. But, uh, uh, yeah. He's best, he was one of the best boys. And discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. He had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Yeah. Yes, it's a long spear that I... That the samurai... Steel samurai uses as a weapon. I hope he says both at least once. Let's hope he does. Maybe you can explain to me just what the steel samurai is. Nick, how can you say such a thing? I I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's alright, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in the kids' popular kids' popular kids show. He walks the streets of Neo Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> I I see. Neo Old Tokyo? Who comes up with these names? Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios at 9. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was about to, was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero. Well, what would the kids think? <sighs> I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Alright, Global Studios, I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick, let's go. I'm willing to bet 10 bucks she asked for autographs. Well, we will be back, Mr. Will Powers, best boy. We gotta go to the movie studios. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome, aren't you excited? Hey, you there! Ugh, this bitch, I hate- She's a fucking boomer, that's what she is. Yeah, it's Wendy Olbag. You want in? You gotta go through me! Uh, oh, sorry. We're, um, lawyers. Oh yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security! And it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out! G gawkers Gawkers, sightseers, tourists! I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to stoop around. Used today, something horrible happens and I care about- Then there she goes again. I can't read that fast. <laughs> She's all just running around her. Yeah, she's a fucking boomer. Um, Nick? Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. Hey! Listen to when you're being spoken to. Use today. Uh. Okay, Wendy, oh bad. So, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. W wow... This place really gone d has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that it was... now Ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then. Back then, too, he was. Hammer? The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. Then, of course, we'll know, we know that she has bad taste. Except when it comes to Edgeworth. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Can you tell me about Will Powers? Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid. But don't be fooled by his mask. He wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it. Believe me. And she's also rude. 
Wendy Obag. Here's a game theory. Wendy Obag is a boomer. Little old ladies watching me lose their lunch. <laughs> That's probably why he thought the Steel Samurai was his big chance. Right? She's rude as fuck. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. <laughs> That's not a game theory. That's a game fact. <laughs> what kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. So what, is he like the fucking St Sylvester Stallone, S Steven Seagal, etc.? He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to, to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 in the afternoon to 5 when they found the body. Now, the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 12.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers said he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You could bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to come? Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Powers' request. Hmm. I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request, and maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. I guess we have to go back. God, this lady. I hate her so much. Uh, hello, how was the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> well... Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I'd never do that! Earlier you said you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible! I... I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I can get. I know, I I'm sorry. But I swear, I swear to you on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me? What did she see? She doesn't seem to be lying. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible! She called me suspicious looking! I yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the big wigs at the studios. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. Grr, she has some nerve. Do you think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Uh, of course! I just hope this will get me past as a security lady. Alright, thank you, Will. Let's, let's move on, Autobots. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes, yes, I recognize the bold, childish scrawl. To think, he would entrust his faith of youth such as un such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass, but only left from here. Towards the studios. Not going to the right. That's the employee area. 
No one allowed inside, pal, were my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Okay. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents. Can we talk to her? No, we can't. Yeah, fuck this little lady. Hey! Aren't you that murderer from the other day? Ah! It's that confused detective! Hey, pal. You know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's your fault. Okay, like I said, we can maybe stand one detective. I saw him sipping tea and started staring gloomily out the window. Um, so? Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. <laughs> um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh no, I, I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are, are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. He is a giant puppy, and he's- I, I think if I- if I calculated correctly, he's actually my age. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey! What exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. That's my endearing character trait. <laughs> I love him so much. I love Gumshoe. <laughs> he's so stupid. I'd say he's a character. I'd say he's a character, alright? Okay, Gumshoe. Oh, hey, go shoot. He is a himbo. So, how's your investigation going, detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions? Right, so, detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report. The latest version, if you please. Hmm, right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. He's a pure boy. He is a very, very pure boy. We may stand one cop as a treat. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. After that, there is no one other, and no one other than the victim in the studio, according to the autopsy report. Time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. How about the security lady? Oh, that straight old lady? Who are the charmer? Huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Power said. She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? Okay, so what is this evidence? What kind of evidence? Well, that, er, photo. The photo of the steel samurai heading towards the the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up there at the gate, pal? The gate? Oh, you mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah, whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence! We're finished! Funny, for someone with tower proof, he doesn't look too happy. <laughs> What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. Oh, 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 Um, 
we like to ask you to please hear some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, if you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. Ha 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 ha. I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We've got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. Okay. Well, let's take a look at that security camera. Hey, there's a camera here. That's a security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the, uh, the data and you can see who went there. There's a number play on the camera, ST1307. That must be the camera ID number. Okay. The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind, but what kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Right, to studio or left, to studio two. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of... busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. It took that tree down with it too. Detective Gumshoe, what's the, down the path to the left? It looks like a tree fell down over the path. Oh, yeah. That way is kind of dangerous. You should stay out, pal. There's nothing down there anyway. That's where Studio 2 used to be, they tell me. They don't use it now, though. Then to Studio 1. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. <laughs> hey, it's locked. Looks like you need a car key to get in. It, may, it makes sense that they would want to keep the non-employees out. Alrighty, let's now go to... Uh, back. Nick, look! The security lady is in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough that she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Hey, you! Well, are you satisfied? Powers is guilty yet? Er, she had to make my life harder by giving me giving that photo to Detective Dumb Gumshoe. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm? All that? I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk to the detective as well. These things are important, you know. Oh, just uh, just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took the fo that photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. This guy station is in a central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now, poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before one. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I see to go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Paris himself. The security camera got a good look at him too. If he's not the one that, if he's not the one that did it, I don't know who is. Maybe it was you? Yeah! <laughs> good one, Shani. She thinks I was joking. Right? Like the way she talks? Okay, that's just that. Was the victim Mr. Hammer a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was? Past tense? Oh, yes, he was great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate is a disgrace, I tell ya. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? About the security camera. Oh, thank you for the follow, Kiko Pollen. Oh, yes, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when somebody walks through the that gate, see? Then it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time it, when it takes a picture, too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over in the security guard station. Oh no! 
I, 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 he, he, he tries his best, Kiko Pollard. He does try his best. I check him every day before going home, I do. Okay. Well, you do you. Well, I guess... Well, <laughs> I like how they just taped his day to the door. Big oof. Nick, this is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, look, there's Paris's dressing room. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. All right. Well, let's look around. Marco's here. Let's see, cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh, it's so normal. I was expecting some cool themed snacks or something, popcorn at least. But wait, look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this! Ladies first. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick! You know a lot about the industry! Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? I guess that's his dirty laundry? The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone, everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a table of steak on one of the plates, minus the steak. Hmm, hmm. T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. He just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? I feel you, Maya. A window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Uh, okay, guess let's... Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? Well, sometimes people use those just to ex stay in one place to get that feeling, and sometimes you're not able to go ex able to go out biking. There's a half-finished backdrop for a stage here. Looks like the castle. Probably Neo-Old Tokyo Castle. No! No, let me touch it! Let me touch the step ladder! I must, it's famous! The grate that used to cover up the drain. It's a little bent. I don't think it would fit if I tried to put it back on. The metal grate on the drain here has been taken off. That's a pretty big drain. A kid could fit through there, I bet. Yeah, if he's stuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay at the gate. Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guest. Right. Huh? Hey, I'm not a kid. Don't be rude, Phoebe. Well, I guess there's not much else we can do. Ah, let's go into the dressing room. After all, this is our client. Powers his dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping? Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth, for his sake. Well, I guess we have to... There's some regular suits among the co in among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I'd say you were already wearing one myself. Don't be rude. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Oh, this is the wig that he used at Samurai Boogie Woogie. Nick, try this on. No. And how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? I, um, kind of like samurai movies. Kind of. Let our girls stand. They always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky, just how I like it. <laughs> oh, Phoebe. There's a bunch, a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. How many stomachs does this girl have? 
Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Pyrus did take a nap here yesterday. Huh. I guess we have no other choice but to look at the bag. Hmm? This must be Pyrus's bag. Hey, don't open that. Oh, too late she did. Look! An employee car key. That must be Pyrus's. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow. I wonder what else is inside Pyrus's bag. Stop that, my partner, the thief in training. I can't believe Maya is, is, is practicing to be a thief. Alrighty. I guess that's all we can look at for right now. Entrance to Studio One. This is Studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this car key we borrowed from the dressing room will, will work. It opened. All right, we're in. She's way too happy for somebody, someone visiting a crime scene. Oh, well, see you later, Gumshoe. <laughs> what is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so, so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And still samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Oh. Look! A ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Yeah, Nick. R right. Sorry. This girl is out there. Um... Wow, look at that camera! It must cost a ton! Yeah, so don't touch it! Whoa, it's heavier than I thought! Hey, you! No touching that! Uh, um, sorry, my partner is kind of... You know, you know? No, I don't know! Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm the, I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers, WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit, but do what you can for WP, okay? He never heard a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. Well, I'll look around some more, to be honest. The outline where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess this is why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected the spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in! I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards that clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone, a real life megaphone. Ugh. Ready, Nick? Action! This girl is more trouble than I thought. What's this? That's for reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. The assistant holds it during filming. Huh. What? What's your where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I'd want to be the director. Or maybe still samurai. I think she's being serious. Yeah, 
Wow, look at that camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used to the Steel Samurai show. Of course, that's the mountain Neo Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo old Tokyo. Oh, right. All right, let's talk to Penny. Could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, studios isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the in the morning. We went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammond were there, along with everyone else. The employee area. The employee area. That's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammond went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... What kind of girl do you think I am? What kind of... No, 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 I'm, I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. So much for getting a confirmation of Wills's out of Powers' uh, alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about! A clue! A lead! Well, I don't know about that. But that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? A g -g 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 ghost No, I don't think so. The only one only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. R really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? I can't believe Penny is also a fae. I can't believe it either, Ash. Wouldn't the security lady must have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. A someone from the outside? Maybe it was a bear. Hmm, possibly. Hi, and welcome to the stream. Calm down, chill out. I'm actually about to end it after I finish this conversation with Penny for the day. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think this would cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about that security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Well, for now, we are going to call it for the day. Next time. We will finish Turnabout Samurai. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. I love each and every one of you. And thank you for coming to the stream. I appreciate you guys and we'll definitely see you next time. If you definitely want to keep up with the Ace Attorney trilogy, make sure you hit that like button or follow button or whichever. <laughs> Hopefully I can get fates fixed up soon, but we'll see. I may just, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I don't get too busy. But yes, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And 
We gotta, the next time we come back, we're probably gonna really make sure, get, we're probably gonna find a way to get Will Powers off. We gotta save our himbo. Thank you. Bye.